The pivot component rotates or pivots a table by turning the individual values from one column in the input expression into several columns, then aggregates the results where needed on any remaining column values. This component supports built-in aggregate functions. The pivot component can be used to transform a narrow table into a wider table. The onPivot component rotates a table by transforming columns into rows. OnPivot is a relational snowflake operator that accepts two columns from a table, along with a list of columns and generates a row for each column specified in the list. This component can be used to transform a wide table into a narrower table. In this example, we'll be using the pivot component to transform a table of product data so we can see an item's price breakdown pivoted into separate columns. Then, using the unpivot component, reverse the process to transpose the separated columns back into separate rows of product data. To achieve this, a table input component has been used to load a table of product cost data, a subset of which will be used for transformation. We can view a sample of the untransformed data by clicking on the Sample tab while the Table Input component is selected, and then pressing the Refresh Data button. To add a pivot component to your job, drag it onto the canvas from the Component drop-down. You can find Pivot under Components, Data, Transform, or by typing Pivot in the search bar. Then connect the table input component to the pivot component by dragging a connector from the table input component to the pivot component. To edit the pivot component properties, click on the properties tab while the component is selected. The aggregate function allows you to select which aggregate function to combine the group values from the pivot column. In this example, we are retaining the data values from the column we're going to pivot, so we'll select average. Next is the pivot column property. Here we choose the column from the source table or source query that will be aggregated. It uses the column names from the input component. We want to split the data from the value field from the input table. We'll select this field from the drop down and click OK. For the value column, select the column from the source table which contains the values from which the column names will be generated. This uses the column names from the input component. For this example, we'll select measure to pull through the desired column names, cost price, margin, and RRP. For pivot values, enter a list of values to pivot into headings in the query results. We'll add three rows by pressing the plus button and then type in the three measure values, cost price, margin, and RRP. Then click OK. To check the output of the pivot component, navigate to the sample tab and press the refresh data button. Here we can see all the measures, cost price, margin, and RRP, per item separated into their own columns. Now, using the unpivot component, we'll reverse the process and transpose the separated columns back into separate rows of product data. To add an unpivot component to your job, drag it onto the canvas from the component drop-down. You can find unpivot under Components, Data, Transform, or by typing unpivot in the search bar. Then connect the pivot component to the unpivot component. To edit the unpivot component properties, Click the Properties tab while the component is selected. In the Columns to Narrow property, select the columns in the source table to narrow into a single pivot column. For example, we'll select the three measure columns, Cost Price, Margin, and RRP, to be narrowed back into one measure column. Then click OK. For Output Names Column Name, assign a name to the generated column that will be populated with the names from the columns in the column list. For this, we'll put measure to match our original table.
For the output values column name, assign a name to the generated column that will be populated with the values from the columns in the column list. In our example, this is the numeric values for each measure. So we'll name this value. To check the output of the unpivot component, navigate to the sample tab and press the refresh data button. Here we can see the data with a separate row for the three transpose columns per product. Cost price, margin and RRP with a separate row for each. For full documentation on the pivot or on pivot component, you can go to the help tab while either component is selected. Or visit the Matillion documentation site.